Welcome to Tea Time with Chris, a podcast that celebrates faith, humor, and the power of storytelling. I'm Chris Tomlinson, your host, and I'm thrilled to invite you to join me for engaging conversations with people from all walks of life. Together, we'll sip some tea, or whatever you prefer, and explore life's joys and challenges with a focus on hope, inspiration, and positivity. I'll also share some of my personal stories and some poetry to add a touch of intimacy and creativity to our chats. So join me as we spread love, joy, and laughter with each episode. Welcome to Tea Time with Chris. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Chris. I'm your host, Chris. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about something that I think is a pretty big deal for everybody, literally every single person. And that is struggles. We all have them. We all go through different struggles. Could be from an addiction or mental health, physical issues, environmental issues. It's just so many different struggles that we all go through. But before we do, let's jump into this week flavor of tea. This week's flavor of tea is called gunpowder. It originates from China, and its name comes from the appearance of its rolled leaves, which resemble pellets used for gunpowder ammunition. Now, its taste is bold and slightly smoky with a vegetal and earthy undertone. It often has a slightly astringent finish and is rich in catagens and antioxidants, potentially offering benefits such as supporting metabolism and aiding in weight management. It's a popular choice for those who enjoy a stronger, more robust green tea with potential health perks. I've never had this tea or I've never even heard of this tea, but it sounds pretty interesting. I'd have to try it. I know the Twinnings, the tea brand, they make it and I'm sure there's other brands that do too. That sounds really interesting. I'm gonna have to try that tea. If you've had it before, shoot me a message and let me know what you thought about it. So let's jump into today's topic on struggles. I know we all have struggles we go through. I know we have past struggles and present struggles. And unfortunately, we will have future struggles. It's how life is. For me, I have gone through many physical struggles and I have some mental struggles as well as spiritual struggles. Growing up, obviously I had physical struggles with the burns and the way my body had to heal and I had to readapt to doing things that were different with everybody else. And like I've said in past episodes, the different ways that I compared myself or whatever it was that I was going through the struggles, I wouldn't see all the other kids going through the same struggles. Now, however, there was some struggles that I could relate with. Growing up, we all went through growing up struggles the way that Our bodies changed and our minds changed and things around us seemed to change. How our friends were growing up and how maybe our siblings were growing up and our our whole family was growing up, you know? We all learn as we grow up and I believe you never stop learning and we will always be learning till the day we die. And that's what I think struggles are. They're lessons. That doesn't mean you've done something horrible and you're being punished with a struggle. Yes, there are struggles that you can go through because of your own choices in life. But there are struggles that you might be born into or certain situations that are out of your control have happened to you. For me, I've had a a lot of different struggles I've had to go through, but I believe my worst is my mental struggles because growing up being different and having to hear different things told to you by people around you, whether it's school or whatever, has changed the way I think about things. The environment I was in, have a wonderful family, and I grew up in a wonderful 
loving family. I had support from my mom. I had support from my dad when he was alive. I had some support from my siblings. And I had some support from some friends and stuff too. But being different, unfortunately, can sometimes bring the attention that you don't want. I know we all want attention in certain ways. We want to be seen in certain ways. But sometimes when you're physically disfigured, or maybe there's something that people can see that's different, you're faced with certain struggles that maybe you didn't think you would ever face, or maybe other people don't understand or know what it's like. One of my biggest struggles is the way I see myself. I struggle with my self-esteem, and it's very hard for me to take and accept compliments from people because I heard a lot of things growing up, and I saw a lot of things growing up, and some of those things stick with you forever. Some of it we're able to get over and shrug off or grow through, but then there's some that stay with you that seem like forever. You know, seeing people who look different treated horribly at school or in public or on TV or movies or whatever, and being told by people your own, age, your own age or even people older how ugly you are and useless you are and how you would never melt to anything and how people reacted seeing other kids cry and running away in fear and having people stare at you in public as if like how dare you even show your face in public and having adults tell you that you would have been better if your family had let you die or you should be locked in a basement and not let out. Those things stick with you, even though you, it's hard to explain because for people who have to deal with physical disfigurements, they can understand this. And it's hard for me to explain how it sticks with you. But I know that people who don't have physical disfigurements, they deal with very similar struggles. You know, you see it everywhere and how women should look or whatever and you see how I know you guys know what I'm talking about you see how people are treated and those things can stick with you and shape you even though it shouldn't matter what other people say about you and you shouldn't live your life in a way that you have to completely change who you are to please other people you should always be who you are because who you are is unique and different we're all different than each other and that's what brings fun really because if everybody was the same it'd be really boring so i know everybody goes through these similar struggles but i'm just trying to explain from my own personal experience and my own view of someone who's has a physical disfigurement because a lot of people that don't like i was going to say is that a lot of people that don't have those disfigurements they don't they may not understand why or how other people feel with them and I just wanted to explain it a little bit better and just let you know that it's not just people with physical dis disfigurements that have to deal with struggles in life we all deal with them and seeing those things and hearing those things when you grow up they can stick with you unfortunately and they're with mental scars they're hard to get through and get over but I believe people can get through them with help and some people need treatments and some people can just pray and God can miraculously take it away, but there's many of us that it doesn't, and it stays with us. And that doesn't mean that we're horrible people or that we lack faith, because there's stories in the Bible about people with struggles and Jesus didn't heal them and God didn't take it away, but he blessed them in other ways. And I have been blessed tremendously. Being able to live a life that's very different in the majority of the world it's kind of a blessing to me because I get to experience something that many other people don't get to experience whether good or bad because I've had good and bad happen to me throughout my life because of what I've been through even though I struggle with my self-esteem and the way I look and how I see myself honestly I'm a better man than I used to be because of everything I've gone through it's a blessing and it's hard to acknowledge at times because you don't want to acknowledge it. You want it to stay in those moments and just be like, no, this is a horrible thing. Horrible. And there's no way this can be good. And there's no way that any of this can become good. And it's, I know, and it's hard. It's very hard. One of the things I do is I tend to, when there's a group of people, 
or a group gathering and I have something to do with that group, like whether it be a work meeting or a church meeting or a friend gathering or just people coming over to play games or just to hang out or whatever, I have the tendency to, to be very quiet and I shut down. Even if they want group interaction, I tend to back away and hide. Although I'm paying attention and I know what's going on and maybe they have questions for the group and I've answered them mentally in my head, but I don't say them out loud. To struggle with confidence. Say it all stems down to confidence. And I don't have a lot of confidence. You might be listening to this thinking, well, you have to have confidence to, you know, do podcasts and talk to people about real deep issues and be raw about it. And yeah, you're right, you do. But I'm sitting at home behind a microphone and a screen. No one's looking at me and it's just me. So for me, I'm fine with that. Now I have talked to large audiences and crowds. And man, that's hard to do. It takes me days, if not weeks, to calm myself down and put myself into a mode where I'm okay. I need to think straight and to focus. Thankfully, I'm able to do that most of the time. It's mainly God that does it and supplies me the strength for that because most of the time I'm shaking and my mind is blank. And then as soon as I get on the stage, like as I'm walking up to the stage, I'm praying under my breath and in my head and being real with God and saying, dude, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how or what to say. I'm scared to death. Please, please give me the words and the strength to do this, please. And every time when it's my turn to speak up there, somehow, some way, I know what to say. And yes, at first it's very scary, but then as I keep going, I gradually get more comfortable and more at ease. Every time before I do a podcast and record something, it's not hard for me to do because how I explained. However, it is hard for me to come up with the topics and the things to say because a lot of times I think I'm repeating myself and I feel like I'm a broken record because I've told my story so many times and I've talked so many times through different things in my mind. I tend to think that what I have to say isn't important or it's not good enough or I'm not smart enough and don't meet the same mentality or IQ as everybody else in my group. It took me a year to start this podcast because I really thought that everything I would have to say wouldn't matter and it wouldn't be good enough for anybody else to hear. Then I'm going to be honest with you guys. A lot of you who do listen to my podcast know this already, but there's a lot of you that may not know this. I had contemplated and thought about stopping this podcast and erasing everything and getting rid of it because again, I felt like a broken record and I felt like I was just repeating myself and being annoying. And I figured no one would want to listen to this. People would just get annoyed of it and sick of it and tired of it and it wouldn't help anybody. It wouldn't help nobody at all, but I didn't jump right into that right away because I knew, I knew that these thoughts I was having about all this wasn't necessarily true. And see, that's hard for me to do because a lot of my ideas and thoughts, I shut down almost immediately because even my, myself, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to do things myself, come up with my own ideas, my own thoughts to do things. And I'm like, no, that's just dumb or a waste of time, or it's just no good. And here's the thing I wanted to share with you guys, and I hope it helps. And just to let you know, it's not easy. And unfortunately, there's no really easy answers for things in life. And trust me, I, I wish I had the answers, the easy answers to get through things in life. But unfortunately, there isn't. But the one big thing I wanted to share is we need to take time to notice and realize what it is that gets to us, that eats, eats us and brings us down and wants us to feel sad, depressed, or to stop everything and just give up everything. So we need to realize, and look again, in a few of my past episodes, I've mentioned like parts of this, is we need to step back and realize what we've done and where we've come from and where we're at now. And now remind yourself, okay, remind yourself that a certain thing that you've gone through and you're gone and you've successfully gone through it. We've all successfully gone through struggles and hard times in our, in our lives. Unfortunately, some of us are still going through them and unfortunately more will come. But 
if you think back of how you got through it and then how you were after you got through it, compare who you are after you got through it, compare that person, you, to how you're feeling now as you're going through a struggle. And remind yourself that all these thoughts that you're having that's going against you and telling you it's not good, it's not going to be a good idea, it's not smart, you're not as, you, you can't even come close to being as good as other people or, or whatever it may be. Remind yourself that, that moment that you came through a past struggle, none of those thoughts were in your head. You were happy because you got through something and you acknowledged that you got through that. So what's the difference between, you me for example, what's the difference between that Chris at that time compared to this time? And the difference is the thoughts that I'm having and I'm letting them consume me and get to me. And that's not Chris. That's my mental issues that I have. And thankfully I'm not like I used to be, but I had to stop and think. And for me, I had to pray, pray about it. And I know that sounds really cliche because everyone's like, oh, just take it to God. You're good. Pray. You just need more faith. You. That's all. You just need to build up your faith. Well, the thing is, is that sometimes you just need to take time to just and notice, notice. Okay. Again, the difference between how you were when you got through a struggle and how you are now going through a struggle are your thoughts. Now, if you can see those thoughts and you can tell yourself, Chris, this isn't how you're supposed to think. This isn't true. For me, I believe some of it is even the enemy, spiritual evil forces that go against us and can use things. I'm not giving more power to Satan because he's useless, but he does have his minions and demons and influences in this world that can do things to us. And again, I'm not going to say that any mental health issues are all just a lack of faith and just the enemy getting at you. No, I believe mental health is a real thing that people struggle with. And if you need help, you should seek help. You should talk to somebody you trust or a therapist, a counselor or a coach. And if you need medicine, take the medicine. Please do not let anybody tell you that you do not need that. God gifted people with wisdom to be doctors. Luke from the Bible was a doctor. In the Bible, Jesus literally says to bring the sick to doctors. I'm tired. I know I, I, I'm tired of people bashing other people who reach out for help and seek professional help. I've lost people from that family, friends. I've lost because they couldn't reach out. And it saddens me because I know what it's like to go through those moments where you're just so, you're so done. You're just so done with it. And man, it's so, it makes me so sad to think of people who go through those feelings. It's so sad. And I just, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing these podcasts to try to help people and let people know and relate to them that they're not alone. I know what it's like to go through these struggles and have the moments where you just want to just be done. I know it's easier said than done to just say, hey, take a moment, step back, acknowledge things, pray, think about it, whatever. I know that's easier said than done because I've been there and I, I'm still there in many, many different areas of my life. And like I shared my self-esteem and how I see myself. It's hard. I know it's hard, guys, but you're not alone. Please reach out to a friend or someone you can trust. Go for that help. You are an amazing and wonderful person. And you're way stronger than you would probably ever know. For me, with the podcast, I've been praying about it. And I've been thinking about it. And I've been struggling about it. My mind tells me that I don't have all this high-tech equipment. I don't have this all this money to put into it. The mind tells me I don't have the mind for it, the intelligence for it. And then I tell myself, before I started this podcast, a few days before I decided to start this podcast, I had the same thoughts. I had the same exact thoughts and I kept telling myself, do not do this. This is a dumb idea. It's not going to work. And you're not going to think of topics. You're not going to have people to interview. Stuff isn't going to work right, and it's just going to fail. But I had a heart and a passion that I wanted to put into this. And one of my biggest things of my life is I want to help 
people and I felt something push me to further go and to start this podcast. And when I recorded my first episode and I released it, it was a little rough, yes, but I've listened to each episode since and I'm realizing that there's been changes that I've done and I'm slowly getting better. But the main thing I realized is this is episode 17. It may not seem like much because there's podcasts, there's thousands if not billions of podcasts out there with so many more episodes. But for me, thinking that even after my first episode, I wouldn't know what to say and I wouldn't know what topic to talk about and I wouldn't have anybody to interview. And here I am in episode 17. And during the time that I was thinking about stopping this and I was in prayer, I had people who had no idea that I was going to stop doing this message me. Not even my friends on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or YouTube or any of that stuff that like I wasn't associated with them at all. And they messaged me saying they listen to my podcast and they love it. I had people from my church that know about it, ask about it. And I had one person even tell me I should start a podcast and I told them I already have and I have 17 episodes and I had somebody else message me. Again, not associated with them at all anywhere. And they stumbled upon my podcast and they enjoyed it and it's helped them. That was one of the big reasons I put the testimonials on the website and the newsletter. Not only to show people, you know, hey, check this podcast out. There's other people that like it and here's what they're saying about it. But also to show myself and to remind myself to keep going and that I'm helping people. And that's what I want to do is help people. And I know what it's like to go through struggles. I know what it's like to be out of the struggle and then go right back into struggle. Then I know there's going to be struggles that we all face that may never go away, but it's possible they could because we're human beings and we're not perfect. We mess up a lot, a lot, and we have to be refined, you know, like I've, I won't go into the full thing like I've done in past episodes, but the whole iron becoming a sword and carbon becoming diamonds, they, they've had to go through so much and come out as strong and beautiful things and that's what you are you're a strong and beautiful person and if you can acknowledge the struggles you've accomplished and gotten through and remind yourself that all these thoughts that you're having that's telling you that you're not good enough it's gonna fail this and this and this that's not you that's not you because you can do it it may be hard but you can do it and all you have to do is acknowledge your strength and what you've gone through and I don't like to put my beliefs in people's faces or cram it down anybody's throat or anything or force it upon anybody. That's not me and that's not what I do. But I do like to express how I have gotten through things and what has worked for me and what I believe would help you guys too. But I know not everybody believes the same thing, but I just like to share my own things. And for me, it was prayer and taking time to think and acknowledge we all go through struggles and we're all going to continuously go through struggles they just might get easier over time and sometimes they don't though life is life is like that you know it can be unpredictable at times because things can change in literally less than a second but just remember what you've been through and remember you can do this because struggles you've you've gone through them already and now you're stronger now you can face the next struggle and remind yourself that all the negative thoughts are not you god bless you've just listened to tea time with chris a podcast filled with hope faith joy love and occasional laughter we hope you enjoyed it and continue to stay up to date with us at teatimewchris.com. God bless.